Niagara area. Yeah. 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 Niagara. <laughs> whoa. Hour and hour brown cow. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Niagara area. Okay. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Ryfield Studios. We're back here on the pod couch. Uh, we're your hosts. I'm Shane. That's Ben. Hey. Tell them who we got today, brother. Yo, what's up? Thanks, everybody, for coming in. We got Stuck in Neutral from the Niagara region. Boys, thank you guys so much for coming in, man. That was a wicked wow. fucking set. Yeah, dude. Round of applause. A whole yeah. round of applause. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for having us. A Cheers. fucking insane Great. set you yeah. guys ripped. If you guys haven't checked that out, get over there, watch that. Fuck, and then come back here and check this out or watch or this, whatever, after, you know, you whatever. You watched it, man, because that's how awesome our fans are, bro. You're probably tuned up and tuned in like I am. <laughs> Who isn't, that's right? Cool. That's yeah. what happens, man. You get a little tuned in, then you're you're just stuck in neutral, right? Yeah, <laughs> stuck in neutral. <laughs> nice, like my nice mind. save. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Okay. Fucking hell yeah, boys. Thanks so much for coming in, man. How oh, was the set, pleasure. man? How'd you guys feel about ripping that shit out? You did some old shit. You played a new song as well. We did. We did yeah. uh, our newest song, Heart Attack. Heart Attack. It's the first recording of it that we ever had. Funny story about this. I'm glad I get to say this. Um, so my mom has this dream, right? And she has been doing like psychic stuff. Whether you're like... Whatever your beliefs are, she's been doing it, and she's been making people come back. She's got I got stories I could tell you for ages. <laughs> yeah. But she uh, calls me up one time. She She's like, I had a dream. Um, do you guys play a song called Heart Attack? And at the time, I'm like, no, why? And she's like, I could tell you exactly how that song goes, the lights of the stage and everything like that. So I'm like, okay, this is a golden opportunity. Oh, right. dude. I'm like, I wonder if me. she watches your video of you guys playing that. And she goes, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one that I saw. I actually gave her a shout out at the bank. I was yeah. like, yo, yeah. thanks to my mom for this next song. It's called Heart Attack, right? Nice. But yeah, I, I went into detail with her. I'm like, give me as much information as you possibly can and the intro to that song is she said it was yeah, the heartbeat she said it was the the heartbeat and that's and what we ended up doing nice. so we're like, Let's faster, go nice. i remember when you came yeah. in and you're like we got to write this song it's yeah. got to have a heartbeat at the beginning and it's got to just be heavy as hell yeah. right yeah. so we're like it is heavy right. as we, we sure. actually banged that song out in like one day we that's wrote the sick. whole thing and we're like yeah. Mom, yeah. it's like it just came out it, it has yeah. an organic yeah. feel yeah it has an organic it feel yeah. for sure yeah. yeah that was really cool usually it takes like months for us to sort riffs out and stuff oh, but like, the right. first time we ever jammed just the idea we just started going into other things and yeah. it just Fuck yes. that was the fell most into place yeah. written yeah. natural song like there was no friction um, like I don't know like, it came out in literally one day like it was literally just like yeah and he just kind of like dropped it up it's like oh here you go here's the heaviest song you guys basically have they wrote it so good yeah they wrote it so magic thing when that happens man oh yeah dude really true. feels it's, good it, yeah it's kind of cool because it's the first song that i got with these guys to like write with yeah nice like That's i'm right. a late addition to the band okay. right right we should get like the origin story of uh stuck in neutral well i just i just looked oh, over and oh. we got some shots to do here so maybe should we get into that okay okay right, shot but, time, I mean, like shot you know. time origin story Let's do a shot to the origin short okay. story. Like story. story. Who wants to tell the origin, the origin story. story? I think DJ. Cheers, I don't even know. I'm, cheers, everybody. I don't cheers, even know. Boys. I'm learning cheers. something. Guys. Stuck Today in neutral. I'm Thank you. Oh, I'm spilling. Thank you, Ryfield, for having us. To Ryfield Studios. <laughs> Thank go. you, boys. To Thank stuck you. in neutral, too. And Yaman, everyone. <laughs> To all you guys at home. <laughs> a little wiser as hell yeah. Hopefully it's good. One with us. Oh, that tastes good. Tastes like yeah. a bad high school memory. <laughs> you can take a shot at home yeah, if you like. Yeah, take a shot with us and we can all cheers. We should have cheers. That's yeah. a good idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, true. Yeah. If you're sitting at home yeah. right, right now, now. <laughs> do a shot. That was a good time to break out that, you know, 50-year scotch. Yeah. 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 The one your dad yeah. gave you. Yeah. 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 It's a very special occasion. Crack that for us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Origin story of stuck in neutral. Okay, who's going to do it? Uh, started. Kind of we'll who who started okay, the whole yeah. band? A long, we, long time ago. You guys should introduce yourselves, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. 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 I rushed straight into some shit, didn't I? Man? Yeah, yeah dude. dude. Well, I mean, okay, so I'll start off. We're so all jacked up. Was, um, <laughs> Jack. no breaks. I used to work with Jordan, um, and we got talking about, like, uh, just playing guitar and stuff like that. And then we're like, hey, man, we should, we should like, start something serious. And it was like, okay. So got together, played a couple riffs and stuff. And I'm like, man, like, I know this guy, DJ. I was like, uh, he, he can come in and play guitar as well, right? right? So we all got together. We were like writing all these riffs. We were calling like studios, being like, like. We were just, trying to 
like we were living this pipe dream. Right? We were, right, yeah. right, we were right. kind of just like, like we gotta yeah. like get a hold of studios, studios maybe yeah. see yeah. if people like, were will record COVID. us and stuff. Right. Um, oh. And right. like then COVID happened, so it was kind of just a pain in the ass. And like we were trying to get together and just like write these little riffs here and there. That's where Dreamcatcher came from. Right. Yeah, we wrote that yeah. riff and mm -hmm. kind of that first song. That was the first song. Oh nice. Actually. And yeah, so we ended up just kind of chilling together and during COVID just. Put all this stuff together, made a bit of a set. We had members come and go. There was just like this culminative art piece that we had. And uh, yeah, and then once COVID uh, stopped, we kind of just, there was a battle of the bands. Like that basically coincided with like the ending of COVID. It's like, oh, everything's opening up. And now yeah. there's a battle of the bands at Moose and Goose, right? Right. So we're like, okay, we you know, like songs. Like, let's just, four we just so. applied for it, right? Yeah. Right. See and, what happens. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah, we ended up winning. Fun. That's sick. First place. We ended up winning oh, yeah. the first like, round. The first, sorry, the first, first round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We didn't win the We didn't win the entire no, battle. Yeah, yeah. But we won the first round. It was like a thousand bucks and uh, nice. some. Just stuff like that. Hey, Some man. recognition. Which was still amazing, feels good, right? Because we did not yeah, expect yeah. to win right. anything yeah. like yeah. that, man. We were like, yeah, we're just like, this would be cool to play a show, and this is how we can get on stage if we just apply for this and we, yeah, uh, yeah, we you know, and just had a uh, blast conduct it. ourselves yeah. in a just professional way. Out. They'll probably yeah, have us here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. We, that's what we push for, push for. Yeah. We thought of it as a show. Funny thing, this guy actually left. I let. I was he like, yeah, well, the show's over. I was like, he had to go. go before. They're like, you guys literally won. I'm on the phone. I'm like, God damn it! And tell him that we won. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Yeah. He was so upset. I won over the phone. Right on. Yeah. So then you took that money you won and put that into the studio because you guys have a yeah. is it a five song little EPO? Yeah, five song. And EPO you released later. two singles before that off of that. That's right. Yep. Uh, yeah, perfect. We, yeah, we worked with Mike Wood. Uh, shout out Mike Wood, music yeah. production. Uh, nice. He does shout great out. work. He does great work. Um, but uh, yeah, we did our two singles, our two first singles, and then just this January we released our like five song EP right. moving forward. Yeah. 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 What were the singles? Eleven fifty nine and Dreamcatcher. Dream yeah. No, no, oh, it was uh, Art of Disaster. Disaster. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Art yeah. of Disaster. Yeah. But they've been revamped for the album as well. Like we didn't okay. just put up the same song. Oh yeah, gosh. Gotcha. Yeah, we put them years. back through and re-recorded re and everything. Makes yeah. it different because why? Put the same exact mix sure. that is already out there. Yeah, on. gotcha. You're, you're fluffing your record, right. right? Yeah. So. Did you re-record yeah. it and everything too, or just kind of no, remix the master? No, it was more like a remix, right? right. And uh, I think, like, we've obviously seen uh, Dreamcatcher's original mix being better than the album. I, it's I, interesting I, I thought to so. See right. these kind yeah. of metrics because you right. got like obviously you're on Spotify, so you have the artist app and like. That super helpful, like looking at uh, your demographic or like band, band pe these people also like these bands, yeah, it's and it's crazy. really right. cool to see because, like, it's like other people, uh, people who listen to you also listen to, and then right, so all of our friends, like, yeah, these, yeah, every band we've played with, which is really cool because yeah, it's like sick. you know, the scenes actually. Yeah, like in what yeah, he's doing at least yeah. to a degree. They're going right? to the shows. They're, they're watching one band, uh, find yeah. a new band. They're going. Well, yeah, that means and... that means people are fucking telling each other about other bands they see locally, well, right? The scene itself yeah, is it incredibly just kinda, supportive. Man. Yeah, like it's not. Niagara's like, actually like it's, it's popping. It's, it's interesting it's because there used to be no shows in Welland. Mm -hmm. Like you would have to go to the warehouse in St. Catharines, right. or you'd have to go to. Um, I forget the old place, but it's in the falls that people yeah. know. There was nowhere in Welland or Port Colburn. Nowhere Colburn. in Welland, nowhere in Port Colburn, but and <coughs> nowadays it's like uh, now, we now get, you got the bank and you yeah. got the cavern, also both doing metal shows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is all and they, they're supportive. They're not just like a venue who's like, Oh, you play music? Okay, sure, come in and then you play metal and they're like, Oh my god. Yeah. 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 You're driving our customers yeah. out. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. it's crazy the We've people who are there. open to actually like receive metal shows now. Yeah. And especially especially the bank. Shout out to the bank because we put on an amazing show there, the amazing bank, people. The people. They were all fantastic. That was the nice. biggest crowd we ever pulled. Yeah. And uh, this is a nice segue into uh, what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so like we have a promotional company I would yeah, like to call it, but it's company. not like a company company but we're doing like we're Sinners it. Indie is what we're trying right to build yeah. and we've uh, we put on shows last year at the doors uh, mm -hmm. in Hamilton mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that was dude. Everybody awesome. loves that place. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Doors Doors so you can't go wrong. Yeah, yeah. Wrong. It's, yeah. it's just such a vibe. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, um, but yeah, so we 
put on these shows and we were like, why don't we make something, like put a logo on it, like something that we could say, because we could put on shows that aren't even, don't even involve us. Right. Mm-hmm. At yeah. the end of the yeah. day and still like make it good. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided to call it Sinners Indie. Um, the first like real uh, cutting of the tape was the bank in Welland. And man, the response for that show was unreal. That's like, awesome. Man. Shout out to everybody who came out, man. Yeah. Like that yeah, was sick. absolutely unreal, man. Like we uh, we almost hit capacity for that place. I think the capacity it was, was like uh, one fifty. That or was something with like Pro that. Sector, and nice. we had like one thirty five. Yeah. Nice. That was with Pro Sector, yeah. Yeah. Red Envy, and Sunnyside. Shout out nice. Pro Sector. Nice. Yeah, Pro Sector. <laughs> yeah, shout out Rep the merch. Rep the merch. Yeah, yeah I love them dudes, man. Yeah. They're awesome. But really, the whole inspiration behind that is like last year when. Last year was our first foray as a band as we are now into doing shows together. Right. And we found that most of the shows that we set up and hosted ourselves were the most successful ones. Right. self promoted like Yeah. And mm-hmm. stuff like that. It's like, why don't we just do more of that? And right. Yeah. Just if it's give it an actual course, label. Right? Yeah. Like, might as well just try it. Like, right. It's been successful. Yeah. So, like, yeah. get a guy who runs the door. Yeah. Uh, split the money evenly because yeah. that's we're a big advocate oh, of like you play absolutely you're you're in high like Red Envy like they're like a new band yeah. right and like they deserve just as much got, as everybody they else got man. Like, just you know? the same cut as Pro Sector did Ev- yeah. split it down yeah. the middle yeah, you guys all worked your ass off yeah it's for not sure. that oh we put it on so we're gonna take more money or yeah. the headliner gets more it's just everybody gets it even yeah and we ended up like we did good. It was, yeah. it was everybody got paid. It was a good yeah. night. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the venues that don't charge bands to play either. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. huge. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's like my Dude. second favorite thing about yeah. the doors is like they know what's up. Like just go upstairs, mm-hmm. do whatever you want. Well, like, they make money. We're too. making our yeah. money yeah. off the bar. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. Well, because right. well, usually it's the bands that bring the crowd that where they make the money, anyways, right? Why do you need to fucking charge the promoter or the bands? Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's even worse with mer- merch uh, cuts or whatever. Yeah, oh, hearing oh, that, that, eh? that's yeah, junk, you're that with like big bands and big tours. That's and garbage. That's so yeah, much. That's garbage. Like, never. Yeah, like, yeah. Your, show your for sure. art. I was just going to talk about your production company. So do you have people reaching out to to promote, or can they reach out? Where can they, they reach can out? If so, reach out. Um, if you go to, we have everything, our contact information, and beyond that, like every like in one stop shop at our website. Uh, StuckInNeutralOfficial.com which is run by Jada so huge shout out to shout Jada. Out shout Jada. out to the band yeah. 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 shout out to the band manager yeah still gotta get that shout out the button bro yeah. 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 Shout out. yeah I was just thinking that too like, we said yeah. that like since episode one since like, episode one we, we need like, a shout out button like, like oh, that yeah. like uh, oh, shout yeah. out yeah. 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 Yeah, like that, like an easy button, like staples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anything, just something to hit. Shout it's out, like shout yes. out. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. So like shout nice. Out. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Alexa, that shout would be out sick. Some do that. It's just Not a crisp just. British accent. Just shout, shout out. out. Or get a, get AI to do it in like celebrity voices, like Snoop Dogg. You hit it once, it's like shout out or whatever. Type it in. Shout out. Shout out. Oh, that'd be cool too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if my internet wasn't so fucking cool. shit. Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, really Gotta love life. it, man. It's we can do this live, live and people could be like commenting with a screen back here. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that, man. It looks right cool. Yeah. It's a big oh, fucking TV. Yeah. 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 Oh, my yeah. dick is hanging out. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Stoner 4269, for letting me know my fly was four minutes ago because of the internet delay. Yeah. 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 Somebody said Ben has a booger hanging out of his nose. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> Thank you, 42069. For yeah. 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 <laughs> 426969. Yeah. Yeah. That'd, that'd, cool that'd be cool as fuck. That'd be cool as fuck. That'd be awesome. Anyway, Stuck in Neutral is a cool band, too. Thank you, yeah, dude. You're a cool band, too. Um, <laughs> so, how do we get to like the group of the five that are sitting here? It's, it's a long, long oh, story. Man. Yeah. Well, at the um, end of the day, pretty much they're just put in a position to need another another guy. Right. Yeah. And I just happen to be the guy they reached right. out to. George oh, and I, friends with. Yeah, yeah you know from the four. We grew up playing music yeah. together. Right. We've known each other since I was like. 12, That's usually 13, how it works. Like, like 10, some. 11. Hey, I know a guy. Yeah. Just yeah. learned how to yeah. play our respective instruments t- together. We had a band for. 
11 years, cover bands. years. Yeah. No, I know yeah. we were in a cover bands are band, sick, but, like, dude. Made, yeah. back That's then, how Shane and I cut our teeth, too, cover bands in high school. That's right, there wasn't yeah, a man. music scene for us, specifically, because we were like a classic prog rock band, and there really wasn't anything for us, so we really cut our teeth playing like four-hour bar sets. So like we played a like, lot of covers. Put on ninety seven. Sprinkled seven. our. That's our set list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. yeah. Sounds, yeah. sounds yeah. like us too, right? Like, like, rock, eh? What's some Eric Clapton? You want some Kiss? Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. some ZZ Top in there. Go. Yeah. Right. Mm. Right. So I, uh, it's funny because so that's why he reached out to me, but like first I first person I, I first person I thought of. I, I like, haven't played. Uh, good choice though. This guy's got. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got a guy and like when he said Adam was good to play with us, I was like, yeah. And Done. Only, it was. Yeah. I, yeah. I had you hit, you hit hard. Like everything's a uh, fucking. I'm an emotional drummer. To yeah. me, there's one one switch. It's on or off. There's yeah. Like, me too, dude. You, you can play hard and but still play with dynamics. Right. Yeah. And give that so, velocity. Like, if if I have to scale back, I don't feel like I'm I'm putting myself in into it. You know. What I mean? Yeah, so dude. I, I have to. I, I gotta feel lay that. Into it. And I feel for that. me, like main influence is John Bonham. That's. The, oh yeah, that's the king of, yeah. of heavy, heavy. You and Shane right? are cut from the same hard, cloth, dude. man. Um, yeah. but, but yeah, so like I, I had too. not played drums for seven years. Dude, yeah. I had a seven-year break in my yeah. life too. Right. Like, are we what's telling what's each other's story? Are we just telling each other's story? Right now? <laughs> are you guys brothers? So like, uh, I was at work actually, and I was I I drive a forklift, and I'd done a couple calls. I was just getting ready to go for a smoke, and I looked at my phone, and he messaged me, and he's like, "Hey, you wanna." You want to play maybe Would fill you be first interested? Show. I know you haven't played that, in a long that inner time. drummer was like, and I'm like you know what? Like, well, actually, Two weeks I, it took. This I, guy was on stage. Yeah. I had wow. seen yeah. Pantera. Like right I've like, okay. never seen yeah. Yeah. And that just yeah. kind of kick-started something. I was like, you know what? It'd be really cool to like play again. And yeah. you, he like, tapped just into kind it? Of like the fire just reignited, right? And yeah. then just by chance he happened to ask and... At first, because I'm a classic rock drummer, like that's yeah. my bread and butter. And honest, yeah. if I'm being honest, I'm a classic rock guitar player right. playing metal. Dude, so I think our age group it. is all kind of that fucking. Yeah, yeah. So like, everybody so grew, grew up, up on metal, metal right? right? Shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Then you go to write your own stuff. Well, guess what? It's going to sound like. Yeah. Oh, dude, I right? when I joined yeah. the metal yeah. Yeah. type yeah. scene, yeah. I was like, I can't fucking keep up with these guys. So like, I was really fortunate that you know. Yeah. It's how you get Pantera and shit like that, right? Yeah. yeah. But like, listen, uh, you know, this guy fucking yeah. crushes it. He took to it like, like he said, fish up, fish in water. Yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. It took two weeks, man. This guy was on stage at the at the warehouse. I, like, I was nice. fortunate that was they let me have some cre- uh, creative liberty in playing the song. And now you got a song that you wrote with them too, and which you played. That's, that's debut yeah, tonight. Heart attack yeah. is yeah. really for me. The, like, that's tonight. the song. Of the best recording out there of heart attack. W- is wait till you guys check that nice. shit out. Yeah. It'll yeah. be fucking that's dope, true. dude. It is the mix, the video editing, everything. Yeah. Oh yeah, check it out. Hit that like and subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe. <laughs> check out all the bands in Niagara. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. check out Sunnyside. Check out Us Alike. Check out Mindswell. Yeah. All these guys who are eating my sharks, eating my yeah. sharks, huge beguiler, d- beguiler, dust walker. We can go on. We even, oh, yeah. we even just talk for twenty minutes. Crimson uh, uh, <laughs> Asphalt. Yeah. Yeah. Whoever's on that asphalt. sign, Crimson Asphalt. Let's go. Yeah, shout, out. <laughs> shout, shout out. Shout, shout out. out. Shout out. Shout out. out. <laughs> Shout out to all those bands, man. Fuck yeah. yes. Yes, man. dude. They're all awesome. Huge scene just man. starting to come back. And yeah. if you aren't following Ryefield Studios, like, shame on Yeah, big shout out to Ryefield. <laughs> Don't even talk about oh, it. Oh, shit. Thanks, you guys, man. You guys are doing a lot for the scene. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Big yeah. shout out to you guys. We appreciate that. You guys are doing a lot for kinda, the scene. That's the main goal here, we man. We kind of just like kicked the door in and just stopped, like, what's up? There's not a voice for the type of music that we play. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, it we could be a pop band and maybe get a little bit farther ahead and get on the radio yeah there's not a voice for metal bands and a big start to it was just sitting there watching cell phone videos of metal bands going (coughs) i know this could sound so much yeah right for sure sure. and then you see guys like eight five six or whatever doing that shit and you're like man we should do a local kind of thing like that and man yeah the the, the most respect i could possibly give you guys because it's um it's a uh, a community that between the bands and you guys are both growing together. Yeah. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Like it's good uh, to see you. creating content, good, great quality content, good quality. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Great Thanks, quality Thanks, content, Dad. and it helps the bands <laughs> because now they have footage. 
of like this happening. Go exactly. check this out. Yeah. So even as yeah. like a promotion company, you could check out bands that have been on the show and be like, man, exactly. these guys would sound good with these which, guys and these guys. Which is and why you know, we reached out to you in the friends. first. Yeah. 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 And then you can get your sound and everything. You know how they're going to yeah. sound live because it's the performance. Cool. These guys yeah. Are cool. Listen to the quality of uh, this band. Oh, should we ask? Cryophilic to join the show. Well, I know they're on my field. Yeah, so yeah. Just like we know they're tied live. We've yeah. seen we it. Can see them. We yeah, can, and you can see, see the chill sash too. Yeah, like, exactly. You can see it's like, are these exactly. cool dudes? You know, yeah. I can work with these guys. Yeah, you know, exactly. they're not going to be stuck yeah. up you know, or whatever, right? Away. right? Yeah, yeah, right away. And yeah. this is like that helps us as like sinners indie, like beyond. Like we're so For lucky sure. we have this be- like little porthole yeah. into knowing into exactly what these bands are like. Good quality. Of uh, recording the music and them sitting on the couch and knowing what being chill, yeah, yeah. So it's Hell super fucking helpful. Yeah. It's like we get an interview. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like like almost like. Yeah. 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 Congrats right. on so, like, one thousand subscribers. So you guys fucking. Oh, brother! Thank you very much, man. That was our first goal. Shout out! We gotta hit that shout out button a thousand times in a row right now. Holy fuck! Can you imagine? Uh, if you got a drink, take a drink for that one. Oh, right. Cheers, everybody. Man, yeah, thank you very much. That's been a great drink. I don't know what's. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Keep up, man. Great <laughs> up out there. <laughs> um, no, that was our first. Uh, that was our first real goal, eh? And we achieved it. Yeah, and I do. Fuck yeah, man. What's yeah, next, dude? Yeah. Five thousand, ten thousand? Yeah. yeah. Shit, Keep I don't know. For real, for real. Yeah. What's on the way? You guys are growing. Yeah, disappear, <laughs> baby. Sky's the limit. <laughs> See, I, I really set the thousand subscriber as the main goal because I didn't think I would even get there. Well, we'd we'll get there eventually, maybe, man. I don't know, man. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, it's been what a wild, strange trip it's been. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking right, boys. Oh yeah. Thank you, boys, very much, man. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. I like it a lot. Thank yeah. you guys very much. We're getting much, close man. to a uh, hundred bands, and you guys just helped with that. I think you're the 89th. 89, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Must be because we yeah. settled yeah. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody was on the same page there. Maybe yeah. we should yeah. write a song yeah. that has the number 89 in it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got 1159. We had the tenth drop. It's all about numbers. Instead yeah. of like Thunder Kiss 65, it'll be like Neutral Kiss 89 or something. Yeah. <laughs> neutral Kiss <laughs> 89. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, neutral Hug. Neutral. Yeah. Listen, yeah. we got yeah. Neutral Hugs around here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's 2024, man. It's all Neutral Hugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You can't go past that line, man. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Well, let's shift back to Stuck in Neutral, boys. So, you guys were saying that new song... Um, that you read, it was just a writ wrote. wrote. I'm, I'm wrote. illiterate, I'm brother. Cool. You done read it. You guys wrote that song. You guys wrote that song. You wrote that song. You wrote that song. You guys wrote that kind of organi- organically together. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys? Uh, is that how you wrote everything else before, or was that, or, or um, what happened that way? The main way that we go about writing like songs, I think that we write are good are when we set up our instruments and that first. 15 minutes of everybody plugged in and they're just, just a jam around. making noise and and like, checking oh, levels and you and catch on this riff and you're just like here we go that was amazing yeah, yeah. 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 that is yeah. it that is it that is the most creative yeah. moment you yeah. can do yeah. of course we also have like where like for example Dreamcatcher where Cobra wrote it and brings it to the band right, right. Mm-hmm. where like if you look at Toxic Waste that's like I wrote it and I brought it to the band right I'm like hey this is how this song goes. We, it's all up subject to change. This is just what I got. Mm-hmm. Right on the whiteboard, section for section, verse, chorus, pre-chorus, yeah. like all that yeah. shit. Yeah. And Usually someone's got a rough idea of something that we, we stem off of or, or the, we it, strike while the iron's yeah, hot. It always kind of like molds itself wins. differently right. from we, what... We got a couple couple things in the mix yeah, we that we, we haven't really pursued yet, but we got like kind of bass like riffs, yeah. you know, like in our, in our little drive there. Yeah. But like that stuff is like stroke. We struck while the iron's hot. We're just yeah. setting up, tuning up, just and it just all of a sudden something we got, yeah. got something yeah. on our hands. All of a sudden, just uh, the magic happens, and yeah. you're like, "Oh my god!" Yeah. For, for me, you, you know, know, it's like you kind of catch it. It's like, did we, uh, did we just do that? You got that old tape like message machine and <laughs> yeah, like a, yeah. a, a a fucking pentagram of ketchup, like yeah. fucking. Yeah. So many times, <laughs> it's like, did anybody record that? Yeah, did yeah. anybody record that? No. Yeah, I definitely know that magic you're talking about. Yeah, and then like songs like Heart Attack and this other one that we're working on, it was more of like. Well, like for me, at least with Heart Attack, it was like we have this. Here's this idea, and then we went, ran with that idea. Right. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, take the foundation and, and build yeah. off of that. Yeah, yeah, we've done that too with it's our band. Of, it's kind of it, a, a healthy blend yeah. of both. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I'm a big believer of spontaneity. And yeah, music, yeah. Right? Like well, coming from to, that rock and roll background too, right? Like, that definitely plays. The right biggest problem that. is remembering what the fuck just happened. Yeah. <laughs> After it happened. Well, man, the next right? jam, you're yeah, like, absolutely. fuck, how did that so go now, again? Now we're going to have a whole thing. Yeah. Just having something set up in a question. Y'all just burn the same doobie, so you're all on like the same high. So it's just like, fuck, it's all there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's in those moments where you need to, like, everybody's having fun. They just plugged in, their guitar sounds good, the amp sounds good, you're yep. hearing your buddy, he's doing some cool shit, yeah, yeah. so you just start doing it together. Everybody's that's just, where it comes out everybody's of, yeah. clicking. Really, yeah. our last two songs are the, the only songs that we have that we've written as the current five piece. As the current five piece yeah. that we have before you, we have Heart Attack that we played on the set, so yeah. check that out. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and super appreciative oh, you guys laid that down, like, oh, for the first time on recording. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. We appreciate yeah. that very much. We're very fortunate for the opportunity to have something Honestly, of this yeah. quality, Honestly. like, laid out for this song. We yeah. Nice. Right? Fuck yeah, Beyond, man. like, appreciate grateful. That. I, what a like, place to freaking drop it, man. Like, yeah. What a bunch of sweet Hell yeah, brother. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah, like brother. I said earlier, like, I'm fortunate they allowed me some creative freedom. Like, if you listen to the oh, EP yeah. compared to, like, what I play, like, it definitely, it's it, different. there's a different direction. Right. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. I sure. try to keep the nature of everything together. Right. Yeah. But, like, they, they, they have allowed me to kind of, like, yeah. be myself and if you with listen, it. But Heart Attack and, like, this new one, like, it's, like, we're really, like, meshing and clicking yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, much, it's, it's almost natural. But if you listen to natch. moving forward, natch. it's a natch. It's almost natch. It's a fucking natty <laughs> light, bro. It's a fucking natty it's light, bro. Natty, bro. Natty. Yeah. natty. Yeah. <laughs> like that's another reason we like kept like a single version of Dreamcatcher and AOD as well because that's when I first joined the band. Is when those first two singles were already written. Yeah. And they already had Dreamcatcher fully recorded. Without him with, on the bass. Without me on the right. bass. So if you listen to the single, so the, the single version of Dreamcatcher, I'm not on it. Did you, one of you guys do it, or you had somebody else at the time? Oh, yeah. DJ. Oh, nice. He man. played the bass yeah. Yeah, originally. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And that's the whole reason I'm in the band altogether, is because DJ shifted from bass to vocals. Right. And they just put and out You didn't want to do bass and vocals like is Tom or I from Slayer or something? No, yeah. <laughs> I, I to, if I was gonna try and go for vocals, that's I was, like that's the only thing. I you had to focus it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Able to do the, the play thing, but yeah, I wanted to. Then you're working too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, be able to tear shit up. Yeah. Need, yeah. You know? Yeah. Fucking right. Yeah. So, so the, the, DJ wants to tear shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tearing it. The other yeah. cool thing is like that's how their origin stories. Their first shows were at the Moose and Goose, and that's how I met them. In yeah. general, that's how I even knew. Well, ben, that they yeah. had a position for bass is because they posted it because I followed them because I played with them right. at the Moose and Goose in a different band. Yeah, he was yeah. against us. In the what band was band. that? Yeah, what band was that? Uh, that band was Stone Blind. They are a hard rock band, so Stone check Blind. them out. Check them out. Stone Blind. Are you still active in that, or have you? Uh, I'm still very much friends with them. Uh, right. Recently, I had to fill in for bass with them because they lost their replacement bassist after I quit. Right. Uh, so I played a few shows with them. We played with them, and I did a set with them. And oh, nice double duty! Oh, yeah. eh? Very, very nice. mutual. I just jumped in on like yeah. a new song, yeah. a little extra song it was there. Dope yeah, fuck. nice. Which is sick. Yeah. So it's it's really great to like have friends in the community as oh, well. Yeah, bands. for yeah. sure. So like since Kyle joined, like uh, it was an immediate click of like yeah. this this guy's cool, like for sure. But on top of all of that, like it was kind of the same as when I plugged in here. I literally, I showed up at a practice. I, there was no expectations. They're like, oh, you can plug in if you want. Like, we're not expecting you to play anything. They're like, just yeah. listen to what we got. Yeah. So right. I just plugged in my shit. And as soon as I just hit one note, and everybody's like, oh, that bass tone. <laughs> yeah. tone Dude, tone. it's stanky, it like, oh, bro. It's a fucking stank. Yeah. Yeah. Tone, man. Tone. I love I've it. been very fortunate. I'm pretty sure I said that as soon as you hit yeah. 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 it. It's got like, so nice. much grit up top and yeah. lots of low. It's, like, it's a nice. I've been very fortunate to play some great players with some great sounds. and. Kyle's top. Yeah. 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 No, that's awesome, man. Sounds fucking good. It really fills out the mix too, right? Well, I, I love the gritty bass. Yeah. Man. I kind of like, approach bass as like, twangy. because I, I started as a guitarist a decade ago. All great mm. bass players. Right? <laughs> oh, Just no, they saying. <laughs> Just saying. Any guitar player can be a bass player. But, <laughs> and then, like, I, like everybody else, apparently had like a seven to ten year hiatus of not playing music at all like I gave up I sold all my gear right and then a couple years ago I just had this thing like, wow I'm in a better position now like financially yeah. like, I have the income and the spare time and support from yeah. like, my girlfriend and 
Hell my yeah. friends at the time. Like, I just go for it. So I'm like, if, yeah. I don't want to be. I don't. I couldn't see myself being a guitar player anymore. Like on stage, if I'm like, I just had this thing where like. But when you because I never guitar, sold my bass, I sold all my equipment yeah. except this one bass I had. Right. Did because I like rebuilt thing. it myself, so yeah. I never sold that, and I just started playing my bass again. And like, if I'm gonna start playing music again with people in a band, I won't be. I don't want yeah. guitar anymore. I won't play yeah. bass. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm having way more fun with this. Yeah. You know? Right you, I, I like to think of bass as context. Dude, bass is the funnest instrument. Like, it's like yeah, a blue. It's, it's like blue. So sometimes yeah. like I play along question. with the rhythm. Sometimes yeah. I shout out to whatever lead's playing. And yeah. sometimes I just do my own thing. Yeah. 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 And I think that complements to like yeah. my uh, style specifically. Right. Because yeah. like when we grew up, we played as a three-piece. So like I, I learned playing, like I looked at drums as just as much of a musicality portion as, as a, a beat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm trying to accent things he's playing or things that bass is playing, right. and then we're well, the riff goes like this. Maybe I'll space. fucking get one of those yeah. in there. Right. Right. So like that it works like well, really sure. works well with me because as much as I'm just laying like a beat, I'm also trying to like musically be as as involved yeah. as serve the sound. Yeah. Yeah. And I yeah. think yes, yeah. you gotta serve the sound. The sound. Yeah. Surf the sound. I surf. think there's no better <laughs> example for how Kyle and Adam have changed the song as the recording that we have now that we just played of 1159. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That was right. because that was I wrote good. that or me Sounds and good. Chris Russell from Against All Odds. I used to be in a band called Against All Odds. Shout out Chris Russell. Chris Shut Russell. Up. Shut Chris up. Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown, <laughs> Steve Salter, check him out if you want merch, Steve Salter. Yeah, yeah, good Salter. show. Yeah, uh, nice. Mike uh Fuck, I can't remember his last name. Shit. Shout out to Mike. 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 Shout out to yeah. every Mike. Yeah. 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 Every every Mike. Shout out to these Mike's. Yeah. 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 Shout out Mike. Shout out Mike. Uh, yeah, so uh, 1159, me and Chris Russell wrote that in his house. And it was an Against All Odds song, but that band kind of was starting to shrivel. Right. And it, eventually it was done like some a couple people were just like I can't do this anymore right. and it is what it is some right. things happen life happens right? yeah, life happens them, for sure but I I, at the same time. I had to say to them because I loved it so much I'm like can I take 1159 because I, I have stuck in what neutral. was it called it was Into the Fog or something it was, it was called Into the Fog originally yeah. and it was wrote, yeah. written by the lyrics were written by Dakota Lee Egeter from, from Mindswell. Shout out. Nice. Shout out Mindswell. Shout out Dakota. Yeah, he was in Against the Odds as well. But uh, yeah, that band was done and I was I loved the fucking song so much. I was yeah. like, can I... I don't want to be hurting right now. Like, I know the band just broke up. Yeah. But can I take that song? Right. Yeah. And yeah. it was like, ah, uh, yeah, obviously. Like, we're not doing anything with it. You could have it, man. It's right. not no big deal. So I brought it to these guys. And this was a totally different lineup. Uh, but we played it. And then if you listen to the recording, uh, Kyle's bass solo in that. What do you call it a solo? I don't even know how I wrote I, that. I think it's a yeah. I don't even know. It's just like, <laughs> it's just what I heard in my mind when I heard both rhythm and what Jordan was playing at the same time. Magical. It just came in both my ears and I just spit something out. Yeah, during the clean part really of 1159. I've never written something like that before. Yeah. And then yeah. Adam also, like on this recording specifically, because 1159 on the moving forward is uh, Cameron Wilms. I gotta shout out Cameron Wilms, my friend. You did hey, the drums. Out. You, know, <laughs> you did great, man. <laughs> we need a button. Like yeah. Our, yeah. <laughs> our <laughs> drums for EP are all just just Cam, and that's all Cam. That's all another Cam. thing where our new songs were spitting it out. There's literally is just ours. It's way more, right. like if you listen to it now, it's more Adam and it's more Kyle, and yeah. you can really really tell when you listen yeah. to the yeah. album version and when you listen to us play live. It's di it's much different. Mm -hmm. I like the way that we got it. It's mm -hmm. uh, we. Yeah. Our styles complement each other. Like We've really also good, dropped you know, down Brent Brent Bader, right? so I was just yeah, going to yeah, say, drop B live, yeah, really but yeah, our, uh, really our actual yeah. album yeah. is in drop C. Yeah, so that's oh, an important okay. uh, piece. If that's you listen big, to yeah. the EP, it's in drop C. And me and Kyle were hanging out one day, and we're like, we're with all these heavy bands. We need to kind of, like... We should do something to make us a little bit heavier. Yeah, like, really because like, we want to be heavier, and we would fit the people that we're playing with better too. It's just like a win-win. So me and Kyle looked at each other. We're like, "Drop B." Nice. 
Yeah, so like I just pitch shifted his guitar yeah. form while he's just it like playing through a plug in, and he's like, wow, this does. Yeah, it sounds. Yeah. changes heavier, the tonality. Yeah. And, and it's a lot. easier for me to sing. Right, yeah. for sure. Like all of this, it just it worked out. So if you listen to Moving Forward, it's in Drop C, and if you see us live, it's in Drop B. If yeah. you're wondering yeah. why things. Right. Yeah, it's a little for, for that one least. guy, yeah. the yeah. sound's yeah. lower. Yeah. Is that true? Hang on a second. Let me put on my glass here. Yeah. Yeah. Not a real band. This guy's a phony. Yeah. 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 phony. Yeah. A big fat phony. <laughs> He's got a tuner. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Too no. 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 These guys are hacks. Bring out the hook. Like I think our sounds rounding out to be a, something pretty cool too, because we all genuinely like the same stuff, but individually we all have our own like slice of the yeah, pie. If we say we our really top like five bands, yeah, we all crazy different. Yeah, yeah. Do, it. do it, do it, do it. Top five bands, let's go around. Oh my god, top three, top three, so top, top three, top three. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. Exactly. Right. Right. number one. Hey. I need to oh, go nice. Lamb of God. Right. I need to go Polaris. Slip Polaris, Polaris. Oh, Polaris. Yes, man. What a combo. Nice list. I would say top like influences in my playing. And top bands, I'd say Alice in Chains. Fuck my yeah. Favorite band of all time. Dude, I love uh, Alice in Chains, man. Like my favorite bass line. Second is Opeth. Nice. Like the bass line Progressive is just so shit. simple, yeah. but they're just so in pocket. And then my the inspiration between my tone and how I play in a metal band currently has to be very old hardcore. Nice. 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 I was waiting for Sleep Token for me. Nice. No, I love Sleep it. Token Sweet. Sleep okay, Token Sweet. Time for third Sleep Token. <laughs> Honorable mentions. This is a good segue because my top three bands in no particular order are Every Time I Die. Nice. Fish. 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 No. Fish. Yes. We went to see Fish saw, and it was such a good I've time. I've seen Fish 14 times. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. 14 times. That's more times. fish than I've caught my whole yeah, life. Yeah, it's good fucking times. Yeah. Okay, I love that band, but I don't know. You're not going to see it in other influences. But uh, yeah, so every time I die, fi- <laughs> every time I die, Fish and Sleep Token. Nice. Sleep Token's number three. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's a hard one. Uh, we're gonna go from bottom up, so three. Oh, Pantera. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Vinny Paul. Swing for Pantera. <laughs> yeah, fuck Rip yeah. Done. Two. Guys will listen to Pantera and literally say hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hell yeah. Solid two. Rush. Nice. Oh, well, okay, nice. yeah. You, you gotta get fucked. And then fucking the crown of all. Who is it, baby? Led Zeppelin. Nice. Nice. I see a lot of drummer f- relation into a like lot of sick drummers drummer. in all three bands. I feel there. like those three bands in particular, like um, I can hear that in your playing it, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah, huge, huge. All three of them actually. Yeah, yeah. Why, like yeah. And dude, so that, Phil Collins is a hard force. <laughs> yeah, right Phil Phil's there. There. dude, we got dude. Phil. Where's Phil? Where's Phil? Shout out to Phil. There's Phil just peeking over the curtains. <laughs> that was actually the second <laughs> concert. Brother Records, not a sponsor. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. To, like, not yet. Yeah. For legal yeah. reasons, that'll get yeah. edited out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, first one was Alice Cooper. Yeah. I was in grade yeah, seven. We he would have been in grade that. eight. Yeah. And we like, as a, a yeah. kid starting to play music, like it was a good baseline. What a show to play, like to go see, right? Because the oh, music was kick man. ass, but like the theatrics involved. But he like, would left do the suicide thing that Alice yeah, did. Yeah, he yeah. cut his head off the guillotine. Like, oh, the yeah. theat- like what an impression to leave on, you know, kids yeah. in yeah. the scene. And then our second show that we con- like we went to go see was. Uh, the Genesis reunion tour, 2007. Cool. Yeah. Really cool. And that was uh, mm-hmm. like fucking wild. Like, yeah, sick. Genesis was fucking DJ. sick, dude. I love bumping that shit, it, especially in like a hot tub or on a, oh, on a yeah. boat or well, something. Yeah, in the hot tub. Tub. <laughs> I love Peter Gabriel Genesis. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Like old school 70s prog. And then yeah. like even the Phil Collins stuff, like in the 80s, was like very proggy, but it was like mainstream, yeah. and very palatable. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Phil. Shout out to Phil. I love Phil. I love uh, um, fucking Sludgehammer by Peter oh, Gabriel, yeah. dude. Great Fuck yeah, dude. It's wicked bass line throughout that song, too, oh, man. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> Top three bands. Top three. And no, let's go, DJ. Influence-wise, I'll say Every Time I Die, Parkway. Nice. Oh, I yeah. love Parkway, dude. Parkway. Love them. Slipknot, of course. Yeah, nice. for sure. For sure. Yeah. 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 Corey's like a different fun. Corey's like a different breed of front he's, so, he's, so, he's something else now so though. Like, yeah. what, what the, I, I, I think all of us in high school yeah. were so yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. this guy's like, got a tat those well, are blue jeans, but there's keep, a tab. Keep it. Yeah, I'll don't show the ankle. Honestly, though, Iowa Corey Taylor. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. Was Iowa's... like like disaster pieces DVD. Yeah. 
Oh my the darkest, heaviest album by them, so right? Self titled was great, but so Iowa had a, a this other it, great album. Like, I respect it both, but like, yeah. for me, yeah. self titled, eh? Yeah. Dude, songs things, like sick and stuff, oh, man. Oh, one of the things I love to be able to hang my back on is I get to say that I saw just some of the like, like, original, like, original slip on oh, first yeah. two albums. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, no, uh, dude. And, and then volume so three like, was kind of polished and a whole different yeah. thing. Yeah. Started that, so like we got to see original slip knot lineup. By the oh, dude. Yeah. Really yeah. Oh, yeah. With Joey Jason. Yeah, I did. I seen him with Joey, but Paul Gray was unfortunately passed when I seen him. But they did this sweet. They brought a bass out, and I think they played Snuff or something, and man, oh, it was tears right. everywhere. Yeah. Angry wild. tears. Hey, again, you like, Ryan, yeah. what the hell are you doing? Yeah, there? exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Do you even yeah. feel... Yeah, do you even yeah. have a heart? Yeah. Points when girls cry. Points when guys cry. Yeah. Yeah. Snuff, why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. Shit. What a do deep song. Do you guys even have feeling Snuff live? <laughs> yeah, she's like... Chad, <laughs> like, crying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Any last words from Stuck in Neutral? Thank you guys so much. It was huge. Sorry, Jordan, I didn't mean to go down the line. Go down the line, baby. Hey, I appreciate everything that you guys do. Oh, Honestly, thanks, brother. Thank you guys for having us. It was amazing. Man, thank, thank you guys you for guys. watching. Yeah. Shout out everybody that we already shouted out. <laughs> you guys are great too. One last uh, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> it's really all about you guys. Hell yeah. yeah. You, Jordan. No, 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 no for real. I'll say no, no final words for me because this is not the last you're gonna hear of stuff in Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Lots more in the future. And lots more from us too. Hold up that pillow, bro, because we'll see you next Tuesday. Hell yeah. <laughs> Make sure you get out there, you follow Stuck in Neutral on all their all their socials, everything there. And sorry, the production company Sinner. Sinner's Indy. Sinner's Indy. Make sure you fucking follow all that shit. Hit the doobly doos. Yeah, the doobly doos. We'll have links to everything below in the description. Like and subscribe. As always. Tune up and tune into the next episode, folks. Thanks everyone. Peace Thank out, bro. Wow! Yeah. <laughs>